Jimmy K here, Metal Voice. Look at this. The Metal Voice shirts are now on sale. Just go to the video description to find out on how you can purchase one. Metal! Welcome to the Metal Voice. Special guest today, the one, the only, Mr. Tobias Ford. And now you're doing interviews without the makeup on. You've your identity is known, right? How does it feel transitioning from you know that kind of kiss, sort of secrecy that nobody knows, and now everybody knows your face? How's that transition? I if, I didn't feel like I was a complete unrecognized person before, so I I I, I don't feel like as if it, if it had been like a night and day difference because it's been so gradual over all these years. And, yeah. and I've also uh, spent many hours standing behind venues, talking to fans and so, you know. To the I, public, uh, to the masses, I mean, you know. Like, to the masses, but you know, you, it is, you're very rarely exposed to, in, in a, since we are doing uh, the show the way we do yeah. and with, with still being in masks and that's how it will remain. Um, there's not, there's, there are very, very seldom, seldom moments where I'm exposed to a larger amount of people. Uh, so I, I don't feel that there's a, that I, like there is a big major difference. Sure. I noticed I was a big fan of Ghost from the beginning. Mm. More, let's say more on the demon side at the start and a little less now, right? Mm. Was that a conscious organic thing that happened? Like, you know, okay, let's lay off of, you know, the sort of more demonic side and let's kind of like mainstream it or is it just an organic thing that naturally happened i'd say it was very organic um i think that the a lot of the more clandestine um veils that sort of shrouded the 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 early bits the early uh, times in in a, in a sort of a in a, in a a little bit of mist was the fact that we were playing very small places and and we were just it just that just added to the atmosphere, yeah. whereas um, part of growing and doing bigger shows and and uh, having a little bit more time and I guess a little bit more funds to put into the show means <laughs> added il illumination yeah. and uh, and also you know in, in the early days we did like 30 40 minutes of of, of playing and and there wasn't a whole lot of talk because we were playing most of the time, but or performing songs. Whereas uh, now when we're playing two hours, two and a half hours sometimes. It must be tough with, with the, you know, the mask on. I mean, does it get difficult to sing or to move around? I mean, I mean, especially on a hot day like this, right? Uh, I don't know. It, <laughs> it's part of the job, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I think that uh, a lot of bands that I know that play, especially if you play, play daytime like this, and they're playing in shorts and tank top. I think that they are experiencing more of a like a physical pain of of, of heat than mm. than than I've ever done in in on stage. I think. Mm. Well, tell me about. Okay, I know you're a musician, you're a guitarist, right? But what about singing? You know, you have like a phenomenal voice, a very distinct tone, right? And it probably separates you from most artists today. I mean, who are your vocal? I don't know, heroes, I guess. Uh, thank you. Um, I have a lot of vocal heroes that, that and, and heroines that that might not be super um, evident in my singing, mm -hmm. because I I I don't find my range and my way of singing uh, particularly. I find it's I find it suiting for for uh, it's suited for what we do with Ghost, but. Um, I am not the sort of singer that could just jump into any band the way that some singers are, you know, yeah. that they, they can just go in between different settings and... Well, and you're not generic, that, that's a thing. You're not, you're no, and, 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 and that comes with the, with the uh, upside that I do a, a good job as a singer in Ghost, but I don't think I, I could sing in any band, uh, whereas uh, some of my influences are... are uh, also female, as I said, yeah, like sure, I sure. love Tori Amos. Yeah. Tori Amos is a big, big singer for me. Uh, I've spent an enormous amount of time listening to her and and imitating her. I think. 
uh, even Debbie Harry and and uh, a lot of like punk rock and and uh, Pink Floyd. Pink, Pink Floyd as well. Specifically, David, D David Gilmore would be the the one that I would have imitated the most. I think uh, out of of their different singers, um, Bad Religion actually. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, a lot of the vocal harmonies and and my way of phrasing is actually very bad religion inspired. I don't think people have thought about that, but it is very. If, you're, if you're, you listen to a lot of my vocal, have you, uh, you taken any vocal training? Not really. No. Well, you have a good phrasing. I mean, you would think the way you breathe and the way it comes out. I think it's a great structure. Nice little phrasing there. I'm well, that's probably because of of uh, <laughs> survival instinct. Because. Uh, yeah. A lot of time on stage, I've found myself short of breath and uh, having to rephrase and having to redo things and having to think about yep. what you do vocally because it's one thing singing and recording and then, then there's another one performing, especially when you're jumping around or yeah. have a bigger stage to, <laughs> to sure, fill up. Sure, sure. You know, so. I, I, I love the last album prequel. It's, it's, it's been, every album has been getting better and better. And I could see, and I don't know, maybe I'm wrong or right here. I could see a concept album in the future, or some sort of. I hear it in your voice. I just. So, have you ever thought of doing a concept album as a next organic? Um, well, the records that I've done so far has been thematical. Yeah, loose concepts. Yeah, loose, loose conceptual sort of little yeah. bit of a framing. Uh, so you mean more like a story, like a, like the wall. Yeah. Like the wall. Um. I can see, I, it. I, I can have, see it, but maybe I not. can see it too. I can see it too. But as of right now, I know that the next record won't be. It, it will be more thematical in the same vein as as the previous ones. Uh, I could definitely see the concept of of doing more of a rock opera oh, okay, in the cool. future. But that would be like. That's like something a, like a lot of guests. In other words, you'll have like Dee Schneider, and or is it just a rock opera like of your voice or? Um, what have you thought of if, that? if I if I'd ever make a, a rock opera the way that I, I think that we're uh, talking about here, it would probably probably not be necessarily a rock record. It would probably be more like classical, like oh, okay, cool. like more vocal and, yeah, and yeah, yeah, more it, traditionally sort of the sort of stuff that you'd hear on a on a musical. Uh, not any musical, but more um, yeah, more score. Uh, score based yeah. if that ma makes sense yeah, sure. um, because I, I I don't feel and that it's one thing if you if you look at the, the big um, like we will rock you and uh, well, no what was it called yeah we will oh, rock you, you. Rhapsody. well the, that the film but the, what was the um, the, the, the opera no, there, there for 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 eons, there was this uh, <laughs> Queen musical in in London, and I think it was called We Will Rock You. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, maybe. Um, I, I'm just now I'm just confused Long just because we started confused. talking about different things. Uh, but anyways, that, that's or that or Mamma Mia is yes. based yes. off of like a huge catalog of already established music, and uh, I don't think that that would be what we were. Would be going for it would be probably something more like here's a completely different record written for this um, yeah. purpose yeah. Uh, and and that having said that I don't feel necessarily that a rock record would be suitable for that but I don't know we're not there yet maybe in the future we, we will see we will see <laughs> thank you so much Tobias for being on the show thank you, know, you. it's I'm a huge fan and I really love the latest album, and I, you know, I just, I'm, 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 I'm there for you, man. I'm, uh, I'm, you know, I'm pulling for you, man. I just, Thank you. you know, I really appreciate your, your musical output. I find it very refreshing. Thank you very much.